Hello and welcome to this video in the Google Shopping Training Series. In today's video, we will be setting individual product campaigns for products that are making profitable sales. This is the scaling portion of our campaign. Exciting times! We've been doing all of this work to get to this point. Now, it's time to execute. Before we get started with the training, I wanted to remind everyone to subscribe to the channel. I put out a video every single day to build your knowledge in advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping. I do this absolutely free of charge. I also host a live call every Thursday night for our Facebook group where I give away a one hour consulting session. By subscribing, you are helping this channel reach more people and build out the revenue required to keep producing these videos for you. Thank you so much for clicking through. I hope you enjoy the video. When do we start scaling? I like to wait until I have a product that has made three profitable sales through Google Shopping in order to scale. Why three? I'm a firm believer that you can luck out and make a sale. I also believe a second sale could be merely a coincidence. But a third sale? That's a pattern. If you're making money on a product after three sales, you have something of value. If you haven't received three sales on a product and are still profitable, great! Your time is coming. Be patient. Do watch on for the process so you know how to do this and feel free to refer back to this video. Do not scale yet. This is how you lose money. Open up your Google Ads Manager and navigate to your campaign list. Click on the plus icon to create a new campaign. We want to create a shopping campaign, but we're going to make two little changes to all the settings that we used in our previous campaign. This time, we're going to use a specific item ID and use a higher priority for this campaign. In a separate tab, open up your Google Merchant Center and navigate to your products. I like to sort the list by title. This ensures that every variant of your product will end up in the list next to each other. Select the product that has made three profitable conversions and copy the item ID. Go back to your campaign creation screen. For campaign name, I like to name the campaign after the product. At the end of the first section, you will see a link with advanced settings. Click the hyperlink above bid settings, and we need to click on inventory filter. We are setting the filter for our item ID attribute from Merchant Center. Click the filter radial button in the drop down menu and select item ID. In the form field, paste your item ID from the Merchant Center account. You will see a pop up and your item ID will be found. Click on it in the drop down list. If you have more than one variant, Click AND to repeat this process for every variant you have. Now we just need to make the campaign as we did with our All Products campaign. Bidding should be set to maximize clicks. Daily budget should be a little bit lower than your full catalog campaign. I like to start it at 25% of the daily budget of that campaign. The second change is selecting the proper priority. If you remember our initial setup video, we set all the campaign's priority to low. For this campaign, we want to set this campaign to medium or high priority. A quick recap of why this needs to be set this way. If you have multiple campaigns running with the same product inside each, the product ad will only deliver to the one with the higher priority until the budget for that campaign is spent for the day. Having this product in a separate campaign with a higher priority means that it won't deliver in the all products campaign until the daily budget in the single product campaign is spent for the day effectively eliminating the delivery from the All Products campaign. This allows you to allocate your All Products budget to finding another winner for your website, while simultaneously allowing you to scale your winning product on the same platform. This is the biggest difference between Google and other ad platforms. We are not going to exclude it from the other campaigns, and we don't need to change anything out in the campaign at all. That's all for today. If this helped you, please give it a like and subscribe for more daily advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping training. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.